Dear colleagues, this cataract looks white, but there is a hard brown nucleus covered by this white cortex. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps by this time while the incisions have been made. Now I want to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye. An air bubble has been injected. Now here goes the trypan blue dye. After 5-6 seconds, the dye is washed out. This is a bit of adrenaline. Though the people are well dilated. Now I wash the dye. And now I am going to use viscoelastic substance. And this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. There is some convexity of the anterior capsule and it appears to be mildly entomacent. Let us see what happens. There is very minimal leakage of lens matter. So I have planned to do Rexis at on go. It has to be a very controlled and very slow movement by the Utrita forceps. Yes, I have been able to do the Rexis. Little bit of hydro dissection is done. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. And now I am going to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. What I am going to do is, I am going to weaken the central hard core of the nucleus. It is like making several punches on the bosom of this cataract. So, some sculpts in bevel down position of the FECO tip. Now I turn the tip and make the bevel up. Now see how I am going to chop this nucleus. Now I am in FECO 2 mode. Vacuum is 450. Yes, I have been able to get a good crack. Now I rotate it 180 degree. Hold one half of the nucleus and separate the other half along the crack of the first chop. Now this is another chop of one hemineucleus and this is another chop of the other hemineucleus. So we have got four fragments. Now each fragment is being worked on with ultrasonic energy and it is being emulsified and removed. You can see the hard brown nucleus being emulsified and it is covered by white cortical lens matter. By this time three fragments have been emulsified and this is the last and fourth fragment. Now I remove the chopper so that anterior chamber becomes more stable. 
Pusti capsule goes towards the vitreous cavity. And that's it. The nucleus has been managed. Now I inject viscoelastic substance again. I take a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula and clean the cortical lens matter. There is very little amount of cortical matter in this case because the epinucleus has been incorporated in the nucleus. So cortical matter has been removed. And now in this case we have selected a hydro Philic acrylic intraocular lens. And it is being implanted under irrigation. Irrigation keeps the antechamber formed. Here it is. The irrigation keeps the antechamber formed and the lens is implanted. The irrigating probe supports the lens and the irrigating probe pushes the lens in the capsular back. That's it. The lens is in the capsular bag and we are almost through. The side ports are hydrated so that these wounds become waterproof. The anterior chamber is lavished and the chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and it will encourage you to take off hard cataracts. Thank you very much for watching.